After recording the solution videos for section 4.4, uh, some of the problems were renumbered a little bit, and what I refer to as problem number 13 in the following video is now uh, problem number 41 in the book. In problem number 13 of section 4.4, uh, we are looking at a satellite that's falling above the surface of Mars. And we're given that uh, the mass of the satellite is 1,000 kilograms, and we know that it starts falling 2,000 meters above the surface of Mars. Given that uh, the gravitational acceleration near the surface of Mars is about 3.8 meters per second squared, and we're assuming that the satellite has rockets on it which exert a force of 3,700 newtons, and we're given that the force due to air resistance is proportional to the velocity with a uh, constant of proportionality is 0 0.2. So we have everything that we need to set up a differential equation to solve for the velocity and uh, once we have the velocity we can use that to solve for the position. Now we can use Newton's second law which says that the sum of forces is e uh, acting on an object is equal to the mass times the acceleration uh, of that object. Now we're also given that, uh, we're all given all the uh, components necessary to compute the for compute the sum of, of the forces. So, first force that we'll compute is the force um, due to gravity, which is negative uh, the mass times the gravitational acceleration. So, we have negative uh, one thousand times three point eight. Uh, we need to add 3,700 newtons. And that's coming from the jetpack, or from the rockets. And finally, we'll have negative 0.2 V, which will be the force from, uh, from the air due to the air resistance. And the reason we have a minus sign there, it might seem a little out of place at first, is because well, we're the uh, satellite is falling, so the velocity is going to be negative. So we want this force to be positive. In other words, air resistance um, you know, pushes upwards. So we have the negative sign to, uh, to compensate for that. So we can rewrite all this as, well, mass is 1,000. And acceleration is just the derivative of velocity. And this will be equal to, well, negative 3,800 plus 3,700, so this is really just minus 100, minus 0.2 V. And this becomes dV dt is equal to minus uh, 0 0.1, minus 0 0.0002 times V. So now we can use this differential equation here to solve for v, and we do that by separating variables. So we have dv over negative uh, 0.1, etc. And on the right hand side we just have dt. So integrating both sides will give us, well, here we'll have 1 over negative 0 0.0002 times the natural log. So natural log of negative 0 0.1 negative 0 0.0002v. And that will be equal to t plus some constant. All right, so now we'll use this to solve for v. This means that, well, the natural log of negative 0.1 minus 0.0002v be equal to, just multiply by the denominator, uh, multiply the right-hand side by the denominator to the left, and rename our constant. And take the exponential of both sides. So you see that 
Um, here we'll have negative 0 0.1 minus 0 0.002v is equal to c e to the negative 0 0.0002t. And now we can use this to solve for v. So if we add 0.1 on both sides, and divide by negative 0 0.0002, uh, negative 0 0.002, we see that uh, formula for velocity, in fact, our general solution to the differential equation, is, uh, is given right here. Now, of course, we're given an initial condition for this, um, for this problem. We know that the initial velocity is uh, 100 meters per second. But this is 100, negative 100 because the satellite is falling downward. So initial velocity is negative 100. And this will be equal to, well, substitute t equals 0, be c plus 0 0.1 over negative 0 0.0002. You, now we can use this to solve for c, and it turns out it'll actually be a little bit more convenient just to solve for uh, the value c over negative 0 0.0002. So if we do that, uh, we see that, well, this is uh, this constant plus 0.1 over 0 0.0002, which is negative uh, 500. So we'll have uh, move the add 500 on both sides, and we see that c over negative 0 0.0002 is 400. So this means that uh, we can rewrite our original or our uh, general solution, uh, and we can write particular. The, we can write using the initial condition and the value of the constant we found. We can write the particular solution as, well, 400. This would be 400 uh, e to the negative 0, 0, 0.002 t and minus 500. And this then is our final formula for the velocity of the satellite at time t. Now, so now to find the position function at time t, we simply integrate the velocity. So position at time t will be the integral of, now the velocity is 400, e to the negative 0 0.0002 t minus 500 dt. Now, this will be equal to, you can pull out the constant 400, and using u substitution, we also end up with a negative 0 0.0002 in the denominator, and we're left with e to the negative 0 0.0002t, and minus 500t plus a constant. Now, if we evaluate this, uh, the coefficient in the first term, see that it's negative 2 million uh, e to the negative 0 0.0002t. All right. And since we're given an initial condition for the position, we know that the position of the satellite at time zero is 2,000 meters above the surface of Mars. We can use this uh, to solve for C. So substituting in T equals zero gives us well, 2 million plus C on the right-hand side. Now this, just by, uh, excuse me, this would be negative 200 
or negative 2 million plus c on the right hand side. So adding 2 million to both sides gives us 2 million 2,000 is equal to c. So now we can substitute back in uh, f to the original equation up here for a position. And And we have our uh, particular solution for the position, uh, position function of the satellite at time t. Now, part b asks, at what time uh, does the satellite crash into the Earth? Or, excuse me, into Mars. Now, to do this would be, um, by hand, would be rather difficult since we would be um, looking to solve the equation p of t equals 0, where p of t is this uh, big long equation here. But if we put this into uh, a computer, we can find that um, the time is about 19. Point Eight four seconds. And of course, if you wanted to do this by hand, you could also use Newton's method. Uh, but substituting this into, uh, into a computer and asking the computer to solve it is, is a much easier method. Now, part C uh, asks what the velocity is when the satellite hits the surface, surface of Mars. So. Essentially, it's asking you what is the velocity at 19.84 seconds. And if we compute this, I believe it's approximately 2 point, or 200, no, excuse me, negative 101.58 uh, meters per second. 